I actually had a client na last week who mm-hmm. actually asked me the same question. Na either ano ba yung kailangan ko ngayon? Is it health or life insurance? But at the end of the day, I told her na wala. <laughs> wala. Hello everyone. Hello. So, hello, hello. So, hello everything. Um welcome Kusta? to a new episode of Dion Kumusta Marion. So, I'm here again si Idriel at si Marion. No, so welcome to a new episode here at Wealth RP. And of course, for this week, we would be discussing no a very again continuation from last week which is which to prioritize first. It would it be life insurance or health insurance? Yeah. Because I think curious yung viewers natin, no? Because, and of course, our subscribers. Kung ano ba talaga yung prioritize nila ngayon? Would it be health or would it be life? No. So, people, uh, uh, because may have din tanong sa email, <laughs> no, kung ano yung prioritize nila. But before we delve into that, um, for our new viewers there, Please hit the subscribe button, and of course, hit the, it. Give this a like so that everyone can see this then, no, in the future. So yun. Uh, okay, no, let's start. <laughs> yes, pati <yun> yan. <laughs> Sige. So I think we can start. Um, so ano ba talaga yung unahin natin? Is it health or life insurance? Um, oh. In general. Yeah, we really need both health and life insurance. But if the person's budget is tight, no. So here we have to be a bit more ano, ano yun, a bit more scrutinizing because we really need to ask the client ano ba talaga yung immediate concern niya. Because if let's say yung family genetics would entail that um, he or she would get sick more then it would be more appropriate na kukuha siya ng health insurance. And then we have to check in terms of life uh, kung may group insurance ba siya, may existing policies na siya, or alam mo yun, may pre-need burial plan na siya. Because mm-hmm. those three things I mentioned earlier would really help you know, have peace of mind and focus on other areas. Um, I actually had a client na last week who actually asked me the same question. Na, either ano ba yung kailangan ko ngayon? Is it health or life insurance? But at the end of the day, I told her na, wala. <laughs> wala! It's both. Ang reason dyan is, number one, meron na siyang policies from her parents na kinuha niya. Okay, mm-hmm. so that's already possible. Kinuhanan siya ng parents niya. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, number two, in terms of lifestyle, healthy naman siya. Um, mm-hmm. Yung diet niya kasi, plant-focused diet na kasi. Because may allergy siya. So, ayun. Tapos, nag exercise naman siya regularly. So, sabi ko, kailangan mo lang siguro mag-annual physical exam. Use your HMO. And then, yun na yun. Di, di ka muna kukuha ng health insurance. Um, mm-hmm. Because yung annual physical exam would help, no? know if kailangan mo na ba kumuha or hindi. Because that will give you tell, telltale signs kung ano ba nangyayari sa katawan mo, ano ba um, sakit na meron sa'yo. And of course, tingnan mo rin yung family genetics. That's really important. You can ask your parents kung kailan nila nakuha yung first pre-existing nila. And that would, al- alam mo yun, give you an idea or a roadmap on when it will occur already because history tends to repeat itself if we don't take care of it. But for my client last week, since healthy naman siya physically, tapos may, alam mo yun, may life insurance naman siya, um, sabi ko, no need, we just focus muna on income. Um, so yun, yung mga cases na ganun. Oh, actually, ano, no? uh, sa case ko naman, I know someone who took a life insurance policy. Ngayon, uh, it so happens, no? Uh, late last year, nagkaroon siya ng cancer. So, mm-hmm. nagka- 
nagka-cancer siya, bro. Tapos, dinala siya sa lung center. And then, mm-hmm. so, na-confine siya doon, no? Matagal-tagal din. And then, syempre, ayan na, nag-pile up na yung mga cost, no? And I think sa cancer, may certain gamot na very expensive. Um, of course, meron namang mga organizations na nagbibig- nagbibigay ng support, no? Financially. Pero parang kakapusin pa rin. Good mm-hmm. thing, good thing, this guy, kumuha siya ng, ano, ng insurance policy about 3-5 years before. Mm-hmm. And then, so happens na merong critical illness benefit yung kanyang life insurance policy. Mm-hmm. At uh, lately lang, uh, na-encash na niya yung 800,000 pesos from the wow. life insurance policy. Uh-huh. At um, yun, uh, thank God, no? may magagamit na siya pambili ng gamot niya. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, naisip ko tuloy, is it, ano, ano bang kinaibahan ng critical illness sa health insurance? Kasi ang alam ko, yung critical illness, rider siya o nagagamit siya bilang rider sa mga life insurance policies. Mm-hmm. Um, we actually discussed that already in our previous video no? about health insurance versus HMO. Uh, you can check it no, in our playlist. But just to, again, refresh everyone's minds, um, yung critical illness rider is just a benefit. So it's a lump sum payment. It's still a lump sum payment, but it expires at a certain age. Uh, yeah, at a certain age. So para siyang term, health term insurance inside a life insurance policy. So yeah. if you pass away, of course, that critical illness rider would also disappear because under siya sa life insurance policy, but if you're still alive and then nakasakit ka and then you have that typical illness rider, um, of course the lump sum benefit would go to your would go to you. Um, so what is the difference with a health insurance policy? The health insurance policy, naman, is a standalone policy. So if regardless, actually it's an either or. So if you get sick, automatic lump sum payment pa rin. But if in case you pass away bibigay pa rin yung sum assured sa iyo or yung life insurance coverage. Kumbaga, yung health insurance coverage mo would be converted to a life insurance policy. So yun yung kakaibahan ng term ng critical illness rider versus a health insurance policy. Um, that's why normally we encourage people to get both because you get more bang for your bucket, no? But there are just certain cases where okay na yung rider <laughs> no, okay na yung rider versus getting a separate ano, um, health insurance policy. Oh, and just to add dun sa video natin last week, yung pinag-usapan natin, paano kapag yung friend mo nag-offer ng insurance policy sa'yo, mm-hmm. riders are important din pala, no? Of course, mm-hmm. ang pros and cons niyan, ang pro ay pag may rider ka, you can benefit. For example, sa critical illness or sa accidental death benefit, may additional sum na makukuha yung mga beneficiaries, ikaw or mga beneficiaries mo. Ang cons mm. naman yan, for every rider na nandun sa policy, it entails additional premium para dun sa insured. Yeah, that's why when discussing life insurance versus health insurance, it's really important pa rin to have needs analysis. Because from there, we would know kung ano ba talaga yung kailangan ng client. Because riders such as accidental death, um, ADDD, which is actually accidental death, disablement, and dismemberment benefit, or aka personal accident insurance, uh, or personal accident rider. Part kasi yan sa life insurance. Eh. But there are some products maybe that has this as well. That's why no, when comparing life, and health insurance. Minsan nag overlap yung riders. Kaya medyo confusing then sometimes kung ano ba talaga kailangan ng client. But that can be cleared up if we do financial needs analysis and if we know kung ano talaga yung priorities ng client right now. At yung resources lalo. Um, because if may group life ka at the same time para may may existing policies ka na, then we can focus maybe on health insurance kung Alam mo kung absent pa yan. But if you're like my friend, na super healthy siya, because super, alam mo yun, because lifestyle kasi in terms of health insurance, eh. active yung lifestyle, healthy yung lifestyle. Um, so, 
maybe we can delay a bit the health insurance and then focus muna on the life. Mm-hmm. I think meron tayong mga viewers na uh, magtatanong, no? Ay, sabi mo nga, kailangan alamin yung family history. Kung yung mm-hmm. family ko, let's say, ay uh, pl- prone sa cholesterol or high blood or yeah. cancer. Uh, mm-hmm. Baka kasi matatakot ako ngayon. Let's say, yung family ko has a history of cancer. Mamaya ma-reject naman ako kapag kukuha ko ng health insurance policy kapag nalaman nila na may history of cancer ang, ang family ko. Ganun ba ang mangyayari? Um, normally with health insurances, no. Yeah, we have to look then at the family history dahil tinatanong din yan. But if the client is healthy versus yung family history niya, then the chances of accepting is really high. That's why, no, we really have to discuss these things in private with the client. Because if my family history, then don't most likely prioritize muna yung health insurance. And then later yung life. Uh, but of course, if the budget is tight, we go for term insurance muna. Mayroon namang health term insurance eh, ngayon sa market. So that would obviously benefit the client more rather than a standalone, alam mo yun, life insurance tapos may critical illness rider lang. Baka mas mahal um, for him or her. Or for her. Oh, at doon nga sa mga videos natin, Adriel, yung mga past videos natin, lagi nating sinasabi, di ba? Uh, as a client, as someone looking for health insurance or life insurance, wag tayong mahihiyang magtanong sa ahente kung ano yung mga uh, products available. Yun nga, no? Tama ka. Meron tayong health term insurance and life term mm-hmm. insurance. Mm-hmm. Oh, dapat hindi dapat sila nahihiya. Wag tanong sa agent. Tayo kasi as a culture no, sa Pilipino, sa, dito sa Pilipinas, medyo nahihiya tayo when asking for questions or for, uh, sorry, asking for questions, asking for advice or to ask, no, yung medyo superior sa atin. Um, mm-hmm. Actually, it's good to ask questions because that would actually help you in the long run know better what you're getting into. And also, that would also help then the insurance advisor Um, learn more about what he or she is selling. Dahil minsan kasi yung iba nagbebenta, benta, benta lang. Tapos di nila alam kung okay ba to sa client, okay ba ito, or hindi. Um, that's why it's really important to ask questions because that's the only way you will know if this is good for you or not. Or ito ba yung priorities ko ngayon? Mm, share ko naman ngayon, no? Um, ano naman yung advantage kapag meron kang let's say, health insurance or life insurance, um, alam mo ba yung kakilala ko, no? Um, mm. When he claimed yung kanyang uh, benefit because, of course, nagkaroon siya ng cancer, no? Napakadali lang pala. Um, he was issued some forms. Pumunta siya sa doctor niya na may hawak ng case niya. The doctor mm-hmm. filled out the form. Ibinalik sa mother nung friend ko. And then he just submitted to the insurance agent. The insurance agent submitted it to the company. And then after a few days, na deposit na sa bank account niya yung claim niya. Diba? Um, kung baga mad- oh, 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 ma- ma- madali lang pala. Ma- uh, madali lang pala ang pag-claim ng uh, ganyang mga benefits. So yun naman ang advantages. Kapag meron ka ng, uh, let's say, critical illness rider or meron kang health insurance. Para sa sarili mo. Um, yeah, the, yun naman talaga yung actually ideal scenario. Uh, but there are some cases kasi na nag-decline yung claim benefit. That's why normally we separate yung health and life insurance. And of course, adding that critical illness rider is a case-to-case basis depending on the client's budget. Um, because if the budget is tight, then better mag-term tayo. Tapos minsan kasi pwedeng i-add yan sa term insurance, um, yung critical illness writer. I've seen cases na ganun. Um, but in terms of claims, um, medyo we have to be ano ba, specific sa kiklaim natin, lalo na kapag CID. Uh, but try pa rin to claim. Baka kasi mag-grant. Um, kailangan talaga close yung relationship with the advisor. Otherwise, maghanap na ng ibang insurance advisor na oh. alam mo yung close mo, friend mo, magiging friend mo 
Tapos kapag kailangan mo na mag-play, nandiyan siya already. Hindi yung, uh, hindi yung nandiyan siya habang uh, binibentahan ka ng policy hanggang sa pumirma ka. After mong pumirma, biglang naglaho na. <laughs> Ayo, yung hi, goodbye, see you next, never. Nakang <laughs> ganun. <laughs> oh. Medyo, medyo may hirap yan. But in the context of ano yung prioritize muna, life or health insurance, it really depends on ano yun, what you need right now. So always have that personal connection with your insurance advisor or insurance agent. Oh, oh. Ah, by the way, yung ano ba, hmm. is it possible ba na makahanap tayo ng life insurance bundled with health insurance? Mostly here in the Philippines, um, it's usually life insurance with a critical illness benefit. Tapos yung health insurance natin is actually designed to be either or. Ano ba ibig sabihin ng either or? Either you get sick and then you get the lump sum payment or it becomes a life insurance proceed. Ibig sabihin, if you pass away, life insurance na siya. So it still goes to your beneficiaries. Um, so technically, sa health insurance, you don't lose anything. Um, if it, either you get sick or you pass away. <laughs> Kaya normally here in the Philippines, we require both. But for other countries, no, um, it's becoming a case-to-case basis because different countries, different insurance regulations, different insurance policies, and of course, different product designs. Um, that's and why I, um, when discussing life insurance or health insurance, we really need then to take into consideration the resources as mentioned earlier. Because that would, of course, lessen the budget, less stress in the wallet. We want more cash naman in our wallet. Diba? So we can also prioritize then other things like growing your income and then prioritizing your investment goals then. O, oh, wag mo namang ubo. Sinasabi ni Adriel, wag mo namang ubusin lahat sa life insurance and health insurance. Uh-oh. Magtira naman tayo sa sarili natin, di ba? Oo. Yeah, don't go. Kapag bumibili ka ng life insurance, pero alam mo yun, tuyo na lang yung kinakain mo kada kada umaga, yun na yung breakfast mo. So, medyo may hirap yan. Or, alam mo yun, naglilimos ka na sa labas. For oh. money. So, don't starve yourself. Don't deprive yourself just by buying a very expensive insurance policy. Um, there are more important things in life that, well, important naman din yung life insurance, set insurance, but there are also more important things that, to enjoy. Mm-hmm. And kapag nag, uh, nagkaroon ng consultation with financial planners, um, mm-hmm. malalaman, ng, uh, malalaman ng ating mga viewers no, kung uh, based on allocation sa kanilang emergency fund, life insurance, health insurance, kung kaya pa nila to mm. achieve their other goals. And number two, kung kaya ba nilang payaran yung premiums ng kanilang kukunin na life insurance or health insurance. Yeah. Yeah, tama si Marian. Tama yan. Um, sige. We, we've been talking for a while. So just to summarize everything that we've discussed. So when knowing when to buy life and health insurance, so number one, know your resources first. If you already have, let's say, group life, existing policies from before. So that's number one. Number two, know your budget because that would determine ano ba yung kalangan kong product or policy. Would it be term, whole life, or VUN? And then lastly, know your needs because if you know what you need right now, then number one and number two, would all come together then. So, yun. So, I guess that's it, no? For for today's, for this week's video pala. Um, any last thoughts, Marian, regarding the topic? Oh, sana naniwanagan ng ating mga viewers sa uh, difference ng life insurance at health insurance. Again, ideally, meron tayo nung dalawa. Mm-hmm. But then again, uh, it all depends, no? Baka mas may kailangan, may mas priority tayo. Let's say kung sa history ng family natin, uh, meron tayong relatives na nagkakaroon ng ganitong illness, baka naman mas kailangan nating i-prioritize yung health insurance over mm-hmm. life insurance sa ngayon kapag tight yung budget. Again, uh, yun lang. Sana naniwanagan kayo. 
sa difference ng life at health insurance. Yes. So, yun. So, I guess that's it no, for, to, for this week's video. And, of course, for those who liked this video and enjoyed our discussion, please give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button below. And, of course, smash that notification bell so that you won't miss a thing. And, of course, you get regular updates for new videos and live streams in the future. So, yun. So, I'm Adel. Si Marion. I'm Marion. Yeah. So, goodbye everyone. See you in goodbye. the next video. See you next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.